everybody i'd like to bring attention to a moral and constitutional crisis facing everybody in the united states uh, when we have leaders say no one is above the law unfortunately they are lying and they know that they are not telling the truth so we have seen that former president trump has been investigated Former Governor Cuomo has been investigated. There have been investigations of the police. There have been investigation of many other people in positions of power. But the group that cannot be investigated is the judiciary branch of the government because they have conferred immunity upon themselves. And this derives from a horrific case called Stump v. Sparkman which took place in the 1970s <coughs> and it involved a 15 year old girl whose due process rights were violated by the judge in Indiana. She did not have an attorney representing her as a minor. There was no hearing. She did not know what was going to happen to her she did not have a chance to appeal. What the judge told her was go to the hospital to have your appendix removed. She was 15 years old. She obeyed the judge and her mother. At the hospital, the judge had told the surgeon to do a tubal ligation of the 15-year-old girl, which meant she was permanently sterilized. She did not know what had taken place. She married a couple of years later, tried to conceive children, and then learned what had happened to her. She sued Judge Stump and others involved. The uh, case went to the federal courts. When it went to the Seventh Circuit Court of Chicago, which covers the Midwest, they ruled in favor of the girl, yet the judge then appealed the case to the United States Supreme Court, which took it up and it ruled five to three that judges have immunity and cannot be sued. This horrific decision is still binding precedent and it is uh, adhered to by many in the legal profession, whether they are district attorneys, whether they are the Attorney General of the United States, whether they are lawyers or others in the legal profession. So this means that if somebody sues a judge, a, a district attorney appoints someone to show up and defend the judge and argue before the court that the case should be dismissed, and that is typically what happens. So what we need to do is lays raise awareness about this horrific decision, try to get it overturned, and establish checks and balances over the judiciary branch of the government, which is a basic principle of our government, that there should be checks and balances that apply to everyone. Thank you for listening. Let's hope that we achieve our goal and raise awareness about this horrific doctrine of judicial immunity. Thank you.